Hi, my name's Lon, and one thing I love, love, love about winter is pears. They're delicate, they're tender, they have this alluring aroma. They kind of make you wait on them till they're perfect, and when they are, oh, they're so good. One thing I really love to make with pears is to pan roast them. And it's a really simple recipe that I can vary as I wish, and it doesn't even require perfect pears, so it's that much easier. Now, I've got a couple varieties here, and you can make this recipe with any sort of pears you can find, really. Um, I'm gonna use Bosque pears today, but Anjou or Comice or Bartlett's are great for this recipe, too. Now, you'll need four pears, and what you're gonna wanna do is peel them. I like to start from the bottom, um, I think it takes fewer strokes and it leaves you with a really nice, clean look. And don't worry if you've got little bruises, um, they won't matter uh, for the end. After you've pe peeled your pear, you're going to cut it in half. And we're gonna dig out this core. You could use a melon baller, you could use a knife. I like to use a measuring spoon. Um, it's a great shape for this and um, you can just kinda Dig that right out. Next up, I'm just gonna take a little paring knife and cut away this little bit of core and stem. So it's really good to get rid of that stem. It's fibrous, you don't wanna eat it, you don't wanna serve it. And I'll just repeat that with the second pair. These are um, the last of my pairs. You're gonna need four and I've already done some. So that's it for prep, let's start cooking. I have a 12 inch skillet here, it's oven safe, and I'm just gonna add one and a half tablespoons of unsalted butter, turn the heat to medium high, and let that melt. Now, if you have salted butter, that's totally cool. I think salty desserts are delicious, so go ahead and use that. So I really like to start this recipe on the stove. Um, this stove does a great job of heating up this skillet and it helps the pears brown nicely in the oven. Great, so now that that butter's melted, we'll add the pears and I'm just gonna place them in here cut side down. Ooh, I'm splattering butter everywhere. And now I'm just gonna leave that alone. These pears are gonna take maybe three to five minutes to pick up a little bit of color. I'm not looking to get them perfectly golden here. They're gonna keep browning when we go into the oven. So it's been about three minutes and if you're looking at this pan, you can see the butter solids are starting to brown. That's a good cue that your pears are about ready to go. I'm just gonna have a quick peek. And this looks great. Um, not a ton of color, but just enough. That's really all we need. So I've got a 450 degree oven behind me and I'm just gonna throw these pears on the middle rack and let them go for 15 minutes. Right, so it's been 15 minutes and these are looking really great. I'm just gonna give them a quick flip so that they cook evenly and then they'll go back into the oven. How beautiful are these pears. So these look gorgeous and they're almost done. I'm gonna pop them back into that oven for 10 to 15 minutes where they'll finish cooking. These look fantastic. Now, to make sure they're done, I'm just gonna give them a quick poke with a fork and I wanna make sure that um, when I lift the fork out of the pear, the pear stays in the skillet. That's how you know it's tender and done. So I'll just get these out of the pan and onto my serving platter. Oh, you guys, this is so pretty. We're gonna keep using this skillet to make the sauce. So I've got one and a quarter cups of white wine and I'm using kind of, um, using a dry white wine here, not, nothing too oaky, something with a nice amount of um, acidity. I've got a third of a cup of granulated sugar, half a cup of quartered dried apricots, tablespoon of unsalted butter, an eighth of a teaspoon of table salt, and last up um, a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cardamom. I'm just going to bring this up to a simmer over medium-high heat and grab my whisk and 
bring all these brown bits up and into the sauce. If you don't happen to have ground cardamom, dried apricots, dry white wine, unsalted butter, it's totally cool. One of the things I really love about this recipe is it's endlessly variable. I've used a combination of unsweetened apple juice and water. I've used raisins instead of the apricots. I've used cinnamon and even pumpkin pie spice or, or black pepper is great in here um, instead of the ground cardamom. It's kind of up to you how you want to flavor this. So this has come to a simmer and um, one thing you want to keep in mind when you're working with this is the handle is crazy hot. So make sure you're, you've got a towel, don't grab that handle. Now I just want this to come up to a simmer and let it go and reduce until we get to a nice syrupy consistency. This usually takes seven to 10 minutes. So this looks really great. Instead of looking like um, a skillet of boiling water, you get these like tiny sustained bubbles and that's exactly what you want. Um, this means we're there. So I'm gonna turn this off. I just wanna tweak the flavors a tiny bit. I've got a teaspoon of lemon juice that's going right in. I'm just gonna move this over to my pears and drizzle this sauce right on top. So this um, is a really simple and elegant way to serve the pears and I can't wait to dive in. It smells just floral, whiny, got a little pop of cardamom going on and it's just the right amount of sauce. Perfect. One last garnish. I've got toasted chopped pistachios here, a third of a cup, and I love them for just a little bit of color and a little bit of crunch. Now, um, if you're allergic to pistachios, don't like them, don't have them, and don't wanna run out and buy them, that's cool. Um, any other nuts you want to chop um, and toast will work. Uh, I also really love this with some granola. It's, um, it's pretty great. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to eat this. Um, I'm gonna take two. They're so tender. They're just cutting beautifully. Man, I really do, I love this. Now, if I had some on hand, I would totally throw some ice cream on here. It's fantastic with ice cream or with a little bit of yogurt in the morning for breakfast. I could eat these all year long. I adore this recipe. I make roast pears all winter with whatever I have on hand. They're never boring. They're always fresh and new and interesting and they're dead easy too. I really hope you give them a try.